So if you're wondering whether you can implement a native ad using an ad server or Google Ad Manager or not, the answer is yes, you can. Most of the time, they would require you to hard code their tag, meaning they want their tags straight to your site source code and not using an ad manager, ad unit, or tag, but using an ad server is definitely an option. Now, let me walk you through on how to do that. Now, on your site, you first have to decide where you want it deployed. For example, you want it after the post or right below the last paragraph. Now, you have to measure depending on how big the unit will be. So let's say I only want a single row native ad with let's say three different units in it. So it's gonna be one by three. Or is it gonna be two rows? So it's gonna be two by six, for example, or two by eight. It really depends on how many units for that native ad to appear in here. And then you will decide, okay, if this is the case here, two rows and let's say four per row, so that's gonna be two by eight. So it's gonna be around 880, 460. So you can say, this is gonna be 850 by 460. On your ad manager, you create an ad unit for that, give it a name, copy for the code, for the size, choose fixed size. Then you're gonna have a custom size in here in this case. So you're gonna say 850 by 460 and there it is so this will be the ad unit size for the native ad and we will target that later in the line item so now you can just set the target window to blank so it opens on another tab when the user clicks on it the rest are optional then you can go ahead and save so we would normally create a new order for this ad network or this native ad network in this case, I'm just gonna use an existing one and we'll create a new line item. I will select display, give it a name. Let's pretend this is gonna be tabula. And you can say this is after post. You can set it to price priority if you want it to compete with other native ads later. And then for the size, you have to select 850 by 460 because that's the size that we specified for the ad unit earlier. And the rest are, of course, optional. So you can choose immediately, unlimited, non-limit, and just put the ex expected average CPM for now. So let's say it's gonna be around 50 cents CPM. And of course, you're gonna target that ad unit. So remove no run of network and select the native after post you can also select the device category let's say this is for ctv desktop specify the rest as needed and then click save so now for the creatives you go to the creatives tab and click new creative you can select third party and then this is where you post or paste the tabula tag that you will be generating from their user interface. When you create your tabula or native ad unit in their respective user interfaces, you have to make sure that it fits your dimension. So if it's 850 by 460, you have to also specify that that's the number of rows you want and this is the number of columns you want for this ad unit. And then generate the tag, paste the tag in here, click on save, and then always preview to see how it works or how it looks like on your site. And then always make the adjustment as needed. Contact your representative if necessary in case you need help. And check out my other video on how to test the creative for a new ad network. All right, now on your site, of course, don't forget you need to deploy the ad unit tag. So go to the ad units, Click on the ad unit you created, click on tags, select Google Publisher tag, continue. You can collapse empty divs, the rest are optional, and of course the size is right there, continue. And this is now the header tag, goes into the header section of the site, and the body tag, you need to implement that where it's supposed to show up. Check out my other tutorial 
on how to deploy Google Ad Manager tags on your site.